Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's look at why changing clip names and labels isn't working. Okay, this isn't something that's broken. It's just settings. And I'm going to show you different settings. You only pick one. You're not meant to go in and do what I'm about to do, but I want to show you what happens if you try to change things after the fact. The bottom line is this. Do you want files to be renamed in the timeline? Then you should rename them in the project bin. Even better, you should be renaming your files before you even import them into Premiere Pro. Just do that before and then everything is fine. All right, so let's look at multiple ways that we're going to work with these clips in the timeline and why sometimes they change and one si sometimes they don't. All right, so here's a timeline. Here's some clips. You'll notice the names are very long, very, very long and not easy to read. I'll drag these clips in and we see that there's the main entry, dry plants, and the balcony. So if we want to rename these, I'll rename them over here, select them, main entry, dry flowers, balcony, and nothing is renamed. How come? Well, that's because there's a setting for this project that needs to be turned on. This is not a timeline setting. This is a whole project setting. Why did Adobe do this? They did this because of productions. I'll link at the end to what productions are. They're very powerful uh, for work groups. But they had to have a way where the production um, the, the each individual projects worked within a production. So I want to show you that when we do create a new project, you do have an option here, display the project item name and label color for all instances. What the heck is an instance? All uses of the, the clips. So if you've changed the name or the label in the project bin, every place you put that in every single timeline in this project will change. This used to be a project setting. It's a project setting in making a new uh, project, and now it's in a different place. So let's just look at this. New project, general scratch and ingest settings, okay? If I go to the file menu again and go to project settings, general, the checkbox that used to be down here is gone. It's moved it to a different place because it's now more project-based. So I'll show you what I mean. Remember, I renamed these. They're not renamed here. In the little wrench, this is where it's changed now. S show source clip name and label. Click, boom. Now they're all there. Okay, great. So watch what happens. Remember, I renamed them in here. I didn't rename them in here. Watch what happens when I turn this off. You'll see this goes back to the old names and this is the new names because that's what I brought in. You don't do this. This is not a good workflow. So I'm not telling you what to do. I'm telling you what happens when you get really confused because if you change this setting halfway through a project, this is the kind of problem you'll have. You can rename them. Watch this. I can right click on this one, choose rename and name it main entry and now it's renamed and if I turn this on it's renamed because it's exactly the same there okay I'm just going to undo that so we can go back to okay so now remember this is the dilemma we had well you can also change labels so all of these are the typical color that Adobe gives to video clips. So if we go to label, we can change this from violet to, let's do forest. Just like before, you don't see them show up here because they're also part of labels. Now, when I turn them on, they come on. 
Remember these were added after the fact? Well, if we turn this off and select these and change the label to yellow, they don't change over here, they're still green. So when I choose this, it overrides those labels because I'm, I'm using the project bin label and clip name color on every instance of this. But watch this. If I select just these three and change this label to blue, everything changes to blue. How come? Because we've turned on the connection between the timeline and the project bin. So it doesn't matter that the last three were renamed and brought in, they're still connected to the stuff in the project bin. So with that setting on, when you change anything in the timeline, it's going to affect the project bin. Let's change it without it on. So I'll go back. Whoops. Easy to get confused. It's in the wrench. Turn that off. Select these. And I'll change this to something else. So now they're not changing over here and they're not changing there. But if I go back to this, then they are. I know it's confusing. It's confusing because Adobe never expects you to do two different workflows. It expects you to do one. And if you're just leaving this the way it is, you probably wouldn't even notice it until you start renaming things, th things in the project bin because that setting to connect the project uh, panel and the uh, uh, timelines is off by default. And I think that's just the feedback that Adobe has from uh, professional editors for years. They don't want that feature. They want to be able to rename that. So you have individual control to rename and reuse clips however you want. You could have one long source clip chopped into a bunch of pieces, and then the clip names in the timeline, you can manually rename them by right-clicking on them and rename. I just wanted to give you an idea when you're sitting there and you're totally baffled why things are doing what they're doing, that's the way Premiere Pro works. You're just doing something later in your workflow that you should have considered before. Do I change names and labels? No, I rename, I rename my clips before they get in the show. So this recording uh, from my uh, C100 is being recorded on my Ninja with a giant long name that pff, I can't remember. I rename it the, the name of this episode. So I use the, the number of this episode. I rename this clip before I, when I'm exporting this out from Camtasia, it's renamed with the episode name. All the clips are renamed before I even import them. I don't touch renaming. I don't change label colors. Everything is always working. I know exactly what it is. And you can do batch renaming um, in uh, a Bridge is a great tool. I've got a, a tutorial that I'll link to where you can just batch rename them all on the way in. You can also rename folders, and I'll probably do a tutorial on this in the, in the future. I don't like the file format that my C100, which is that tapeless format, which is a structure of blah, 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 bunch of folders. That's why I love the, the uh, Ninja uh, V, V or 5, the Ninja for recording my uh, Canon, because it's one big ass file with one name and I never have a problem. So there you go. Hopefully uh, this helps with a little bit of the confusion of once you start getting into workflows and you're renaming things and relabeling things and they just ain't changing. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. If you want to support us some more, you can do that on our website, videorevealed.com slash shop. Donate once, monthly. We love all of our wonderful donors. Thank you so much, folks. And uh, there's lots of free stuff that you can download there. Till next time. It's my name. My name is Colin Smith, and I'm confused about my, my name is Colin Smith, and it's my job to help show some of the confusing things inside Premiere Pro that really aren't a problem with the program. It's more about you choosing the right workflow at the beginning.